Hey jammers, I'm Gene. Welcome to triadmusicstudio.com. Today I'm going to talk about the key of E flat major. When you look on the staff, the five horizontal lines um, where notes are written on, so you will see uh, three flat symbols which represents the key of E flat. It also represents the key of C minor. They are relative to each other. They share the same key signature. But that's another story. Uh, we're going to talk about the chords in the key of E flat today. There's 30 keys, 15 major keys, 15 minor keys, and there's seven chords in each key. However, I'm going to say that there is nine chords in each key because I'm going to include two relative major chords in every key. Uh, even though those notes are not in the scale, which is where the chords are coming from, but I'm going to put them in any anyway because over the years I've discovered uh, that uh, the pros they use a lot of these um, relative major chords in their songs. The chords come from the major scale. So if you're in the key of A, you need to go to the A major scale. If you're in the key of F sharp, you need the F sharp major scale. If you're in, in this case, we're in the key of E flat, so we need the E flat major scale. Do, re, mi, fa, so, do. Uh, the names of those notes is where the chords are going to come from. Uh, those notes will build the chords, kind of like uh, you can say they're building blocks. And then we put those blocks together to build the house of E flat, the key of E flat. The notes in the E flat major scale are E flat, F, G, A flat, B flat, excuse me, C, D, and E flat again. If we put value to it, scale degree, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, or 1 again. The chords will be major, minor, minor, major, major, minor, diminished, major. Which gives us, for the key of E flat, chords of... E flat, A flat, B flat. The third one here, some people say it should be a dominant, uh, so it should be a B flat seven. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm giving that as a B flat major because I'm giving majors and minors. Three majors, three minors. Each major chord has its very own relative minor. Each Minor has its own relative major, the marriage of chords. So that's how I'm presenting this. I'm not putting a B flat seven here or a G uh, um, seven here at the end. And then there's the D diminished and the two, of course, relative majors of G flat and D flat. You can see this uh, on our website, trymusicstudio.com. You can go there. Uh, uh, the, the keys like this, well, you'll find them besides this video. The chords are E flat, F minor, G minor, A flat, B flat, C minor, D diminished, and E flat. I think that's so cool. You can hear the major scale, the you can hear it in the chords. Uh, so these chords do not literally need to be played like here the E flat A form at the uh, sixth fret and the A flat uh, E form at the fourth fret. They do not literally need to be played at these exact places unless that's where you like how they 
sound or voice right there. Uh, we can play them at various uh, different places uh, on uh, positions on the neck, like E flat here, or E flat here, E flat here. You notice they all voice different. Same thing with an A flat or the C minor, etc. You you choose where you. Uh, need to play them, or what form you want to play them. And there's a chord library on our website so you can find different positions of where to play these chords. Um, it's really important knowing your, your keys and chord forms so you can make your guitar talk more and sing more. Uh, so that takes us to the two relative majors. And how we find the two relative majors, and this works for every key, is you go to the key center. In this case, the key center is E flat. So we go to an E flat. If we were in the key of A, the key center would be A. If we were in the key of um, B flat, the key center would be B flat. So you've got to go to uh, the key center, in this case it's E flat. And we go up three, uh, Three up and two down. Remember, this is up, that's down. Three up. And we don't count this first one because we didn't take a step yet. We didn't move yet. So this is zero. One, two, three, which takes us to um, a G flat. And then we go back to the key center, E flat. We go down two. We don't count this. We didn't move yet. So this is zero, one, two which takes us to a D flat. And so uh, G flat and D flat are the two relative majors for the key of E flat. Next, I'd like to end this with um, talking about uh, alternate chords. You might notice, uh, if you're looking at some sheet music, that maybe there's uh, more than one E flat in the song, or more than one A flat, etc. with these chords. That there's different ones like an E flat, an E flat minor, an E flat seven, an E flat diminished, uh, A flat this, A flat that, etc. And uh, so what's going on here with this? I kind of like to talk about, like say about color. You can have a color blue. But uh, depending on what colors you add to that, uh, we get different shades of uh, the color blue. Like dark blue, light blue, this blue, green blue, uh, sky blue, uh, navy blue, etc. Well, uh, the, the same type of thing happens with chords. For instance, if I have, an, uh, let's say, a D chord, and I move a note from here up one fret to there, I have no longer have a D, I have a D suspended four. And if I go back to the D and I move this down two frets, I'm a D suspended two. And if I take this one off and have just those two in this, I have a D six. And if I um, go like so, I have a D minor. We're moving notes around. I'm changes the sound, so we have to change the name. And that's a lot of times what you see uh, going on with songs, why there's more than one uh, chord of the same name. They're moving notes around, uh, changing the, the sound and it changes the name. Uh, this is done in some songs, some songs it's not. But that's what's um, happening there. So, all right, well, I hope that. That uh, you uh, you know enjoyed this lesson. It helps you. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. We greatly appreciate it. Please visit our website, TriMusicStudio.com or GuitarLessonsFastFunAndEasy.com, and subscribe. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel too. We uh, need you and want you. I like to say, please, all aboard the Triad train. So join us and. Uh, Take a ride on the train. Um, okay. And don't forget, jam on. <laughs>